Today, we're talking about something that affects every single guy watching this video. What if I told you that your testosterone levels could be completely normal, but your body isn't actually using it? That's right. Your blood work might say everything's fine, but your muscles, energy, and recovery, they're telling you something different. I was inspired to create this video after diving into some interesting research, particularly a 2025 study published in Scientific Reports. This study examined the relationship between androgen receptors and muscle growth regulation. This research opened my eyes to a crucial mechanism that most fitness content never addresses. Today, I'm breaking down the hidden mechanism behind muscle loss that most doctors never mention, most trainers don't understand, and most guys have never, ever heard of before. This isn't just about getting old. This happens to men in their 40s, 30s, and yes, even their 20s. Let's talk about why your body might have stopped listening to testosterone, and more importantly, what you can do about it. Before we dive deep, let's get clear on what testosterone actually does in your body. When most guys hear about testosterone, they think muscles, they think sex drive. But it's so much more than that. Testosterone affects different things. Muscle growth and maintenance, fat distribution, bone density, red blood cell production, mood and cognitive function, energy levels, recovery from exercise and injury, and how your body handles inflammation. Think of testosterone as the conductor of a complex orchestra in your body. When it's doing its job, everything plays in harmony. But when that signal gets disrupted, the whole performance falls apart. But here's the key most people miss. Testosterone is just a messenger. It doesn't do anything on its own. Imagine testosterone is a key, but for any key to work, you need a lock in your body. That lock is called the androgen receptor. And that brings us to the question, what exactly is an androgen receptor? Think of it as your body's testosterone receiver, the antenna that picks up the signal. Without functioning receptors, all the testosterone in the world won't help you. A fascinating study published in Social and Personality Psychology Compass explored how hormones like testosterone affect behavioral responses in the body. What the researchers found supports exactly what we're discussing. It's not just the hormone levels that matter, but how efficiently and effectively your body responds to them through the receptors and the mechanisms that follow. You see, when testosterone enters a cell, it needs to bind to the receptors to activate them. Only then can it turn on the genes that build muscle, burn fat, improve recovery, and all those other benefits we want. The science is clear. You can have perfectly normal testosterone levels, but if your receptors aren't working right, that testosterone essentially becomes invisible to your body. This explains why most guys with normal T levels still lose muscle. Some men on testosterone therapy don't even see results. And how two guys with identical testosterone can have completely different physiques. It's not just about how much testosterone you have, it's about how well your body uses it. And now onto the growth regulators, two powerful proteins in your body that control muscle growth. These are called myostatin and follostatin. Myostatin is essentially your body's built-in brake system for muscle growth. Its primary job is saying that's enough muscle. And it does this by inhibiting cell growth, limiting muscle fiber development, and essentially putting a cap on how much muscle you can build. Evolutionarily, this makes sense. Carrying too much muscle was metabolically expensive when food was scarce. On the flip side though, we have follostatin. Think of it as myostatin's natural opponent. Follostatin blocks myostatin's activity, essentially taking the brakes off of how much muscle you can grow. And here's where it gets interesting. Your androgen receptors, they help regulate both of these proteins. When your androgen receptors are working properly, myostatin levels stay lower, follostatin levels stay higher, and your body maintains a growth-friendly environment. The research on this compelling. A 2025 study published in Encrinology demonstrated how androgen receptors directly influenced the myostatin pathway. The scientists found that when androgen receptors function properly, they help maintain the optimal balance between these muscle building regulators. But when androgen receptors malfunction, myostatin shoots up, follostatin drops, and muscle growth becomes nearly impossible regardless on how hard you train or how much protein you eat. So when it comes to the causes that contribute to androgen receptors not working properly, the research points to several key factors, but we'll break it down into five. First would be physical inactivity. Research shows that just three to five days of significant inactivity can start down-regulating androgen receptors in muscle tissue. This isn't just about skipping the gym. It includes prolonged sitting, injury recovery, or bed rest. Second is chronic inflammation. Persistent low-grade inflammation from poor diet, stress, or environmental factors directly interferes with receptor function. 
This creates a nasty cycle where inflammation reduces receptor activity, which increases muscle breakdown, which further increases more inflammation. Then sleep disruption comes in at third. Your body does most of its repair work during deep sleep. So when you consistently miss quality sleep, receptor sensitivity takes a major hit. Then fourth would be poor nutrition. Specific nutrients like zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, and omega-3 fatty acids are essential for receptor health. A 2025 study in food chemistry identified specific compounds that can either support or inhibit hormone receptor function, showing how our diet, our dietary choices directly impact how our bodies use testosterone. And then there's number five, chronic stress. High cortisol from ongoing stress directly competes with testosterone and damages receptor sensitivity over time. And the worst part, these factors compound each other. Poor sleep increases inflammation. Inflammation raises stress hormones. Stress hormones disrupt sleep. It becomes a vicious cycle where your androgen receptors are under constant attack from multiple directions. Now for the good news. Research does show you can restore androgen receptor sensitivity and function. Let's break down five of the most effective strategies. First, resistance training. Nothing wakes up androgen receptors like lifting weights. Studies show that proper designed resistance training increases androgen receptor density in muscle tissue, improves receptor sensitivity, and creates the perfect environment for testosterone to work. Focus on compound movements like deadlifts, squats, presses, and rows with progressive overload. Aim for about three to four sessions per week with adequate recovery between workouts. Second is sleep optimization. Your body produces most of its testosterone during deep sleep. And this is also when your receptor sensitivity is restored. Look to prioritize these key factors. Focus on getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep. Dial in consistent sleep wake times. Get more morning sunlight exposure and limit blue light before bed. That means stay away from the computers and your phones. And keep your bedroom cool and dark. This helps contribute to deep sleep. Third, anti-inflammatory nutrition. Certain foods directly support receptor health while others damage it. So focus on omega-3 rich foods like wild fish, algae, and nuts, colorful vegetables and berries for antioxidants, zinc rich foods, oysters, beef, pumpkin seeds, magnesium sources, dark leafy greens and nuts, and vitamin D, which you'll get from like fatty fish, eggs, and don't forget to get sunlight exposure. Stay away from or limit processed foods with high omega-6 oils, refined sugars and flours, artificial additives and preservatives, and excessive alcohol consumption. Fourth, stress management. Chronic stress is kryptonite for your androgen receptors. Effective strategies include daily mindfulness and meditation, time in nature, get outdoors, strategic breath work exercises, setting boundaries on work and technology, and finding activities that create a flow state in you. Be more creative. Fifth would be strategic supplements. While no supplement can replace the foundations above, research does support a few that may help. Creatine monohydrate, beyond its well-known strength benefits, has some research suggesting that creatine may support androgen receptor expression. Then we have vitamin D, which is essential for receptor function, if you're deficient, of course, and zinc, which is critical for hormone production and receptor health. Magnesium supports sleep quality and receptor function as well. And then we have L-carnitine. Some interesting research suggests it may support androgen receptor density and always focus on quality third-party tested supplements. And remember, they support good habits. They don't replace them. These strategies aren't just theoretical. The research I've studied included a comprehensive 2025 scientific reports paper. This confirms that targeting receptor sensitivity rather than just hormone levels can produce significant improvements in muscle maintenance and growth. Now let's put this all together with a daily action plan, daily habits, get morning sunlight, help sleep and vitamin D, stay active throughout the day, avoid prolonged sitting, eat protein every meal, aim for about 0.8 to one gram per pound of body weight, prioritize dense whole foods, practice stress management, and get seven to nine hours of quality sleep. Weekly habits, three to four days of resistance training, two to three days of recovery activities. What I mean by that is walking, mobility work, and possibly sitting in the sauna if you can, and meal prep to ensure consistent nutrition. Monthly habits, track progress, take photos, 
strength metrics, recovery quality, and adjust as needed based on your results. Your body will be talking to you. Remember, restoring receptor function isn't an overnight process. It's about consistent habits that compound over time. So there you have it, the secret to testosterone that nobody's talking about. It's not just about how much testosterone you have, it's about how well your body listens to it. The science is clear on this from the 2025 receptor study and scientific reports that inspired this video to additional research in endocrinology and food chemistry. The evidence all points to the receptor function as a crucial and often overlooked factor in building and maintaining muscle. By understanding how receptors work or androgen receptors, you also understand how myostatin functions and follostatin and how they all work together. You can take control of your muscle building potential at any age. This isn't about magical shortcuts or quick fixes by no means. It's about working with your body's natural systems to optimize how hormones actually function in your own body. If you found this valuable, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Dave. Stay strong, stay healthy, and be informed, not influenced. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.